Hello, this is teacher Alex from Phuket Pulse. Welcome to the next GD Science Screencast on test questions and this is episode 6. Today we will have a look on a longer uh, text with a couple of paragraphs and um, we will talk a little bit on about uh, close reading and spotting the right information uh, to answer the questions uh, related to the text. So let's jump straight into it. Here is our text, so we'll have a read together first. The cohesive attractive forces between liquid molecules are responsible for the phenomenon known as a surface tension. The molecules at the surface of a glass of water do not have other water molecules on all sides of them and consequently they cohere more strongly to those directly associated with them. In this case, next to and below them, but not above. It is not really true that a skin forms on the water surface. The stronger cohesion between the water molecules as opposed to the attraction of the water molecules to the air makes it more difficult to move an object through the surface than to move it when it is completely submerged. The cohesive forces between molecules in a liquid are shared with all neighboring molecules. Those on the surface have no neighboring molecules above and thus exhibit stronger attractive forces upon their nearest neighbors on and below the surface. The surface tension could be defined as the property of the surface of a liquid that allows it to resist an external force due to the cohesive nature of the water molecules. Water molecules want to cling to each other. At the surface, however, there are fewer water molecules to cling to since there is air above, thus no water molecules. This results in a stronger bond between those molecules that actually do come in contact with one another and a layer of strongly bonded water forms. This surface layer, held together by surface tension, creates a considerable barrier between the atmosphere and the water. In fact, other than mercury, water has the greatest surface tension of any liquid. All right, this is quite a long text and it's quite complex, but it, all three paragraphs talk about the same thing. Um, we talk about this attraction between water molecules, the cohesive forces between water molecules. So here's our first question. Uh, which of these examples best illustrates surface tension and for that we have to find the important parts in the text. As we said already the text is full of examples. Uh, let's pick out some that give us the best idea. So here we have the first sentence gives us an introduction already. The cohesive it tells us what cohesive means, attractive forces between water molecules leads to surface tension. Then down here we have a definition of surface tension. Surface tension could be defined as the property of the surface of a liquid that allows it to resist external forces due to the, due to the cohesive nature of the water molecules and because of the attractive forces between water molecules. A bit more information, the surface layer held together by surface tension creates a considerable barrier between the atmosphere and the water. So what is the question? What possible answers do we have here? Which of these examples best illustrate surface tension? Some objects are able to float in water. Some small insects can walk on top of water. Ice is less dense than liquid water. Water is able to erode rocks and other surfaces. So if we look at answer one, some objects are able to float in water. Floating means a part of uh, the object is submerged in water and another part of the object is on top of the water. So it doesn't really have to do with the surface tension. The floating object breaks through the surface. C and D, similar, ice is less dense than liquid water. The question is not about the density of objects and it is as well not about the erosion of rocks. So if we look at B, some small insects can walk on top 
of water. Now, on top relates to surface. And why can some insects walk on top of water? Because the water molecules on the surface attract each other more strongly. And this leads to surface tension and allows some insects to walk on top. For example, the water strider. I guess every one of you has seen this type of insect before that can walk on water because of surface tension. All right, let's go to the next question. Which of the following has the highest level of surface tension? Water, alcohol, gasoline or mercury? So in the whole text, we don't find anything about alcohol or gasoline. So we can definitely cross these two out. So we are left with water, mercury. Again, the whole text is about water. And here it's about your very close reading ability. Are you able to spot the important sentence here? It's the very, very last sentence that gives away the right answer. In fact, other than mercury, water has the greatest surface tension of any liquid. And it's a little bit of a vocabulary question as well. It's more an English language question. Are you able to understand the very first part of the sentence and what it means? What means other than? Except mercury. Water has the greatest surface tension. Now that means water has the greatest surface tension. Only mercury has a higher surface tension. That means that mercury is the correct answer. That's all from me today, Alex from Phuket Pals. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.